Good afternoon everyone. This is Jay De Rosales again. And today pag-uusapan naman natin what are the seven lessons that you need to learn before turning 18 years old. So bakit po 18 years old? Most of our viewers ngayon uh, siguro you're in your 30s or uh, 40s but uh, if you have kids or if you have nephews and niece na bata pa ngayon before they turn 18 years old. Make sure na alam nila itong mga lessons na i-discuss natin ngayon. Okay? So, uh, stay tuned sa mga matututunan natin. And I'm sure marami kayong makukuha from uh, from what we are going to discuss today. Okay? So, number one lesson is... Okay? Number one lesson that you need to learn is your success is your own responsibility. Wala pong, uh, wala kang pwedeng i-blame na ibang tao if you uh, don't succeed, okay? And wala ding ibang magbibigay sa'yo ng success kundi uh, kailangan paghirapan mo yan, okay? Uh, it's your own effort. It's your own time management. It's everything uh, will boil down to what you are willing to do and what you are willing to to sacrifice, okay? So later on, makikita natin ano ba yung uh, role ng ibang tao sa success natin. But ultimately, your success is your sole responsibility, okay? So don't look for other people for your own success. Don't look for things for your own success. It is your responsibility, okay? You have to work for it. You have to spend time for it. You have to think about it, okay, for you to become successful. That's number one, okay? And number two principle is success is different for different people, okay? Maraming nade-depress ngayon kasi yung mga kaklase nila nung high school, kaklase nila nung elementary, mga successful people na, okay? Don't compare yourself to other people, okay? Yung success niya maybe is in the uh, arts department. Yung iba naman is in the music industry. Maybe others are in business industry or others are in sales or in teaching. We have different success stories, okay? And also, uh, we have different goals that we are trying to achieve. So, focus on your own goal, okay? Run your own race, sabi nga nila, so that you will not become frustrated kapag uh, mayroong mga difficulties or trials na dumarating sa'yo because uh, hindi mo pwedeng uh, takbuhin yung run ng ibang tao because you will be frustrated. You are created with different sets of abilities and talents and you have to find your own path so that hindi ka ma-frustrate sa mga ginagawa mo. Okay? So that's the second one. And the third thing, the third lesson na kailangan matutunan ng mga kabataan ngayon, okay, before they turn 18, is crisis comes with opportunities, okay? There is more opportunities when there are crises, just like what we're experiencing right now. Many people are making money even during this time. Remember, Wala na pong create na additional na pera, okay? And the money uh, globally is uh, fixed, okay? And from time to time, because of some uh, economic uh, decisions, they print a little bit more money. But basically, that's it. That's the amount of money in the entire world, okay? Yung iba lang, they get they get the share of the money and others lose the share of the money, okay? But every time, every moment, every age, okay? Every millennium, every century, there are people who are making money because there are always crises. And when there's crisis, there is always opportunity in that crisis, okay? So just make sure that your skill is relevant in times of crisis. In, in this time, there are skills that are useless. Maybe you are uh, in the salon industry. Maybe you are in construction industry. I have new clients now that they close their construction industry and they're moving to food industry. 
simply because there's no construction going on, uh, at least at this moment, okay? So you have to be uh, able to be able to adapt to a uh, crisis, okay? If you want to become successful, okay? So uh, you need to bear in mind that in every crisis, okay, if there are crises in your Siguro in your province, there is opportunity in that. If there is national crisis, there is also national opportunity, okay? So bear that in mind, all right? And then number four, okay? Number four lesson, okay? Blessing comes with responsibilities, okay? I just want, I just realized it, I think, two to three days ago, okay, when I was meditating and I realized Every blessing na gusto natin, okay? Every blessing na hinihingi natin kay Lord, merong katumbas yan na responsibility. And if we don't handle the responsibility the right way, it will become a problem, okay? You cannot have the blessing without responsibility. It's the two sides of the coin, okay? There's the blessing and there's the responsibility. It's a package deal, okay? You want, let's say, uh, a wife, okay? There's a responsibility to love your wife. You want a new car. There's a responsibility to take care of the maintenance, take care of the parking space, uh, take care of the repairs, okay? It, it cannot come without responsibility. And at some point, blessings come with new problems, okay? You want new business. You want a business. You need to uh, your problem will be hiring people, uh, getting um, space for your store, okay? So these are inevitable. You cannot take the blessing without the responsibility or without the new problem that comes with it. So be prepared for the responsibility if you want blessings to come, okay? So that's number four. And number five is the difference between your job and your work. Okay, many people are looking for jobs, especially those na nakagraduate ng high school or nakagraduate ng college. They're looking for job, okay? But they're not minding of their work. What is the difference between job and work, okay? Your job is your skills, okay? You are paid for your skills. Your work is your gift, okay? You are paid because of your gift. Skills can be learned and unlearned. Uh, your gift is within you, okay? No one can take it out from you. If you are born with ability to sing beautiful songs, no one can take that from you, okay? But maybe you are a singer, but you are working as a waitress, okay? Or a, or a waiter. They can fire you anytime, but your gift, it will come with you when you leave the company, okay? So your job is uh, your career, Okay, your work is your life assignment. All right, uh, your your job is what people ask you to do. Okay, your work is what you can do for people, and no one can do it except you, because that's your work, that's your life assignment, that's your talents and a gift that God gave you. Okay, so, uh, okay, another difference between the job and work. Your job is uh, your survival. Your work is where you flourish, okay? Those people who flourish are not working on their job, in their nine-to-five job, okay? They're working on the work, on their life assignment, like uh, Michael, ja uh, Michael Jordan, Michael Jackson, Tiger Woods. They, they are work, they are doing what they love. They are doing what they're gifted, okay? So, you have to find your work while doing your job, okay? That's what I'm, uh, what I just want to say, okay? So number six is, number six lessons that you need to learn early on is you can't do it alone, okay? Even if you are the most gifted person in the world, you can't do it alone. You need mentors who will guide you. You need parents who will guide you. You need friends that, uh, you can socialize with. You need uh, partners and clients and employees if you want to make an impact into the world, okay? So 
uh, there's a saying, if you want to go fast, do it alone. But if you want to go far, okay, if you want to go far, do it together, okay? Because teamwork makes the dream work, okay? So that's uh, lesson number six that you need to learn or our youth needs to learn. And then lastly, number seven, not everything you hear is true, okay? We are in the age that there is limitless information around us, okay? And they are grabbing for our attention. But uh, you need to put a screen or uh, you need to pick what you will hear, especially don't hear what when people say, don't listen when people say that you cannot do it, okay? You can do amazing things. Even a 10-year-old, a 6-year-old, a 13, 15-year-old can do something amazing. I've seen people who are thriving, who are uh, successful in their business at the age of 15, at the age of 12. Okay, so if you are listening uh, in this uh, episode right now, I'm telling you now, don't listen when people say that you cannot do it. Okay, listen to your to the inner voice inside you na nagsasabi that, you know what? I have the ability to do it. I am created by God with, with all these gifts and talents that is within me, okay? So don't listen when people, even people that are close to you, even people that, you know, cares for you. If they are telling you that you cannot do something and you are, unworthy that you have no value, don't listen to them, okay? Listen to God that created you, okay? Because he, he is telling you right now that He loves you and He has given you the gift to become successful in life, okay? So those are the seven lessons that our 18 years old or uh, younger, our younger generation needs to, to hear or to learn before they even turn 18 and before they even start their college education, before they start their own businesses, before they start uh, working on their uh, job or career, okay? These are the lessons that they need to hear from you as their parents, okay? Because as parents, you need to support them. It's one of our responsibilities as parents, okay? And we need to guide the next generation because truly we are we are almost done. Okay, what we have accomplished is uh, is already here. But the next generation they can do so much more. And I believe that we have part in making the future better for them. Okay, so this is Jay De Rosales. If you want to uh, learn more about business investment money management, just subscribe to my YouTube channel, Jay De Rosales TV. Okay, and click the subscribe button to learn more about my videos. Thank you so much and have a good day.